Hello everybody, welcome back to part 93 of you, me, and Minecraft. So I apologize for not uploading the past two days, but I am now back today. So, I've already given you guys a warning about it, but I will say it again. Videos I will try and get daily. They may not always be daily. However, I do hope you still stick with the series and do enjoy it nonetheless. That's pretty much it. Please do like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Also, leave a comment down below letting me know if you enjoy the video. And go check out the links in the description. The first one is to Discord, then the Beacons page. All of my socials are there, and then Sociopathic Gamers channel. Go check him out as well. That's pretty much it. Also, Top left here, don't forget, black box, that is the playlist. Click that, and you can watch all of them from episode 1 up till now. Let's get right to the video. Okay, everybody, hello, hello, welcome back. So, as I said in the intro, I am sorry about the two days of no videos. I was pretty exhausted due to daily activities throughout the day. Um, So, we are back. Uh, as I said daily will i'll try and do daily as well um however there might be some you know some days i might not be able to get to it on time however i will still try and do daily that's pretty much it let's just get right into the video so this episode we are going to as you can tell we're on the actually one of the last water floors right before we hit underground um so as you may be able to tell in the direction that is facing I'll actually show you real quick. So we lined it up in the center. I will go to the top real quick. Bam. As you can tell, we're going to be heading towards the house. Um, and what is underground, you might ask? The mob farm. I want to make a path to the mob farm and back so I don't have to keep running, climbing up, going down all the way over the bridge, then climbing down the ladder and everything. I can just go straight there and back. So that is what we're going to be doing. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just don't have to worry about water leaking everywhere. I'm going to do that. And we're going to dig this out. And I'm just hoping this goes by pretty quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we're not going to be too, too bad. This little area here. And then after that, majority of it might be underwater. I uh, know we're going to be hitting sand the entire time. What do I hear? A slime. Okay. Come on. So now we're at the stone. Okay. So we might actually hit some, like, hit underground stone wise. And there we go. Man, I really hope we actually do hit some stone. <laughs> like, we can go underground and relax, and we don't have to continue. Oh, nope, we're going to hit sand the entire freaking way, aren't we? Come on. Oh, okay, no, so, like, until there, and then we're underground. Okay, yeah, that won't be too bad, then. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. Digging the path there, and then we're going to decorate it and stuff after we, uh, get the actual pathway built because right now I just want to get the pathway done so one thing I like about the old version I could do the torch method to not drown um, I could do a door as well um, yeah let me go grab a door okay I'm back I got a door Wish I could place a torch down, but not happening. <laughs> no idea where that slime could be.
There's obviously a cave under me somewhere that the slime is hitting, so we'll have to see what happens. I don't understand why it does that. Oh yeah, because it activates on both. Oh, that's clay. Okay. Bam, there we go. Now we got some lights. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to take my door back. And we're going to try and put it like a halfway point. So about right there, just so I have a good point of contact for air. Even though I could do a torch, but at least this way I don't got to stop. So we're just going to continue digging straight. And we should eventually hit it. Oh yeah, we're actually already almost there. Hmm. Well, maybe actually, I think we're gonna. It's gonna take a minute. Why do I just consistently hear slimes? That's getting very annoying. Like, like actually. We should be getting close. I hope. We're gonna try digging on one side for now, just to see where we're at with it. Hey, there's coal. Awesome. I'm gonna place some torches down real quick. I don't want mobs spawning in here. How far are we? Then again, it is pretty far, so... There's some dirt. Why is there so much dirt? <laughs> there was definitely a cave in that tunnel somewhere. 100%. I heard the water flowing, so we'll have to go check that at another time. Oh, I seized a cobblestone. Okay, oh yeah. Yep, we should hit it. Let's see where we end up. Oh yeah, perfect. Right where I wanted to end up at. Nice. And my pickaxe broke. Good thing I'm. Oh my god, my inventory is full. Okay, there we go. We now have the tunnel dug out. Awesome, awesome. Now, I did say I was going to make a decorative. I will do this part last. However, now we're going to go through real quick. I'm going to dig this three tall, so I'm going to see how that goes. Um, I'll be right back after I dig this three tall. Okay, everybody. So, I am back. So, really quickly, before we actually get to into it, uh, I may sound a bit different from the beginning of this video. That is because I'm recording this the next day i actually ended up uh falling asleep while recording um so i uh i'm recording continuing this off last time we left off i said i was going to dig this out three tall and real quick if we come over here 
That is exactly what I did. I got a dugout three tall. It's all the way there. It's just a matter of getting it actually built in. So we're going to head back over there. I'm going to mark out where I need, because remember, three tall door, so where the frame needs to be on the outside. I'm going to mark where I need to do it there, and then we're going to just start filling this in and getting it all built. Okay, yeah, I have no idea why so many squids build up there. Like, look at this. They just... So many squids. If I ever need ink sacs, though, that'll work. <laughs> so real quick, we're going to... But, uh, yeah, so we're just going to start digging it out. Dude, fucking move. Damn squids. Okay, now we got that. We're good to go there. Okay, so there we go. Now we're going to get a little bit built real quick. So one, two, three, so there. Quickly go back in so I don't drown. Come on. Okay, and then just for the sake of closing this off right here, we're going to go like this. And I'm going to put glass along here. And since we're going to be breaking this, we're just going to go like this. Dude, I swear to fuck. Get off of me. Okay. Okay, everybody, there we go. That's the start of the tunnel. So I will continue building this. Let's get right into it. I'm back so we're going to use this dirt to uh, empty the water from here is that it I think that was all the water that was there did I just grab a stack of dirt for nothing I did <laughs> okay well, that sucks, but hey, you know what? At least now we know it's cleared, so uh, let's see. So I did want to resize the window a bit more. We're going to bring it out to, to here. And I'll just clear a little bit of the land. Come on. Okay. 
somewhere like this, like this. And that works out because we can't actually have torches, so we'll just go like this. And then like this, and like this. Okay, and then we can clear that. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. And... I think since this is mainly stone, I think we're going to do stone for the pathway. So let's go grab some stone. Let's sleep real quick too since it's night time. Okay, so here we go. We got a stone, and we'll be replacing this entire hallway with stone brick. Obviously, for now, we're just going to go and patch the floor, and everything else we will do later. Okay, and there we go. We now have the floor done. There we go. So, what we're going to do now is we are going to go through and start with the walls. So, we're just going to go and do this side, and we're just going to go down along and do the walls. Now, I did notice the majority of this is stone for the roof, too, so I may just leave the roof here as stone brick for the start of the tunnel, or I may change it at a later date, I don't know, but for right now we're just going to leave it as stone. Uh, uh. Wow, cool, and iron right beside each other, okay. Well, I think I know where that cave is now that I keep hearing stuff in. Yeah, this is a huge unexplored cave. Okay. That's crazy. Just trying to light up the general area around where the base is. Just so I don't have to continuously hear mobs every time I take a step anywhere. I see. Wait a minute. Dude, this is the cave I've already been in. That's insane. Literally just leads right through here. Literally right here is the tunnel. So if I dig about. Okay, so let's see. So if I come up from that hole, which is right. Okay, so that hole is right there. So if I go one, two, three, it's about three blocks over, I'll hit that hole. All right, so let me dig this out real quick. Okay, so yeah, if I go one, two, three, so right about here, let's, I should be able to dig down and hit that yes. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, so now we have a little cave entrance right here. That's awesome. So I will be putting a door right there. 
well, let me just redo the stairs real quick so I can actually put a door down. Okay, there we go. So now I can put a door there and we have access to a cave. So let me go grab a door real quick. Never mind, I have a door on me already. Because I was uh, using it to... Well, that's nice though. And at least we have an entrance right there too if I don't want to... That's nice though. We go over that way. We can pretty much go anywhere we want now in the water. So that's awesome. We now have a cave. We have a cave entrance. I was kind of wondering how we were going to go about doing that. Because I didn't have a cave yet minus the one that was the whole way over there. By the way, this is the only orb we're getting just because it's attached to the to the uh the base. Okay, and then we'll just slap that there. Actually no, we need to fill that in. Okay, yeah we can fill it in with cobblestone because I already have the wall dug out. Okay, cool. And this wall is one that will be replaced. So we're just gonna... Okay, if that's not any correlation with how much we're actually gonna need for this, uh, let's see, so the door's right there. We're gonna go one more. Place some torches back down and I did the one more just because I want to get this doorway done Go like this and get the doorway done okay so there we go doorways done now we can continue I hope we have enough pickaxe to actually get this dug out here I got one of them. There we go. And okay, we did have enough pickaxe to get this done. Awesome. I mm, inventory. I know we're not gonna have enough of these though, so I will have to make some more. I don't think I even have enough. Oh, I'm nope, still not gonna have enough, but we should be able to get more most of this done. Okay, so we're two off. That was all I had. Ah, you're killing me. Okay, here's what we'll do then. We'll go like that. We'll place those two, because I would rather have that filled than have the doorway completely done. Okay, there we go. So we're done up to the doorway. We have the path to there and back. We have an entrance to the cave now, which is awesome. Okay, we can break these two now. And there we go. Okay, eventually, I'll redo the torches at a later date. Um, for now, I wanted to, we're going to keep that as cobblestone there just because that's the pattern. Uh, so there we go. We got the tunnel done. That's nice and awesome. Well, it's not completely done, obviously, but it's more or less done. So we're going to throw the sand in there. Throw the dirt in there. Cobblestone in here. Glass goes in here. Okay, uh, let's see. I keep forgetting which one is uh, cool or clay goes in there. I think sax should go in there too, right? Nope. In this one. I'm getting a nice bunch of them. Uh, coal and iron ore. There we go. That's actually pretty much it, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching this video if you enjoyed please do all the stuff i mentioned at the beginning next time we're gonna finish this tunnel and i'll make it look a lot better and everything i'll get like the area around it looking a bit nicer too and everything i mean this side's not too bad but i'm gonna like fill those in so squids don't get trapped and 
flatten this a bit and everything, but that's actually pretty much it. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Peace out. Have a good one. See ya.